So today is Sunday and thought we'd do a little video diary for a week um, to see how much ash is produced or not produced, hopefully, by my Sky 7, my Charmwood. Um, so what I tend to do in the morning, still still very warm, feels lovely, plenty of embers still in there. All I do is I take my tool and I just scrape around the edges so that it doesn't build up leaving a bed of ash, obviously some of that ash is falling under and then I make my fire on that what I'll also do just to stop too much falling out, give it a little brush throw that in there any on the door throw that in there as well right let's have a look at what the ash pan's looking like Pretty much empty. In fact, what I'll do, let's do this right. Let's chuck the whole thing in there. That is completely empty Sunday morning. So now we will make a fire on there. It's a beautiful day today, but it is chilly. Straight onto the bed. In case you didn't already know, wood burns beautifully on a flat bed so although this has got a really cool great mechanism which means that you can shake the ash out and you can also make the air air holes bigger for anthracite for, for burning wood this is perfect um you might think i'm going to lose a lot of ash there's going to be a lot of stuff falling out of the the front of this um, great bar because it's quite low but we'll see how we get on i've not found it to be a big issue Day two, Let's see how our ash is doing. So same as yesterday, I'm not gonna to touch anything other than just pad down the ash around the sides. Just leave it in the middle. What I'm gonna to to do is I'm just gonna fish out my, my reusable fire lighter, which will be a little bit hot. Okay, we didn't um, stoke up, we didn't load up the fire last night, so there's not too much in terms of coals this morning. And then we'll just make our fire again this morning. Before I do that, let's see what, what ash we've got in the pan. I don't expect to see a lot. No, remember yesterday it was empty, today still empty. So... That means that basically all the ash that we um, that we created yesterday, we lit the fire around about, um, I think I started filming about eight yesterday morning, and uh, we had it running until uh, we went to bed. And um, all of that ash is basically in there or consumed. So bearing in mind, we started with a bed of ash yesterday as well. So, so far so good. Let's see how many more days it is until we have to think about emptying our ash pan. Make a quick fire. Get this thing lit. Ideally, if you can, if you're available, if you're still working from home, following the lockdown, um, light your stove in the morning, have it running during the day, and you'll be nice and warm. Keeps the ambient temperature of the home high. Um, what you might also notice I've done, if you can see it on the camera, is my fire lighter is on the top of my my wood. Um, because again, you don't need to stick it underneath. Um, it burns, it lights a little bit cleaner if you, if you light it from the top. Just while that's going. <laughs>
morning. This is day five of our ash test on our Sky 7. Now, I want to let you know that yesterday I got a, a message from a sincere Charnwood fan who doesn't believe that I'm telling the truth when it comes to the amount of ash that my stove is producing. But we are telling the truth. That's all I can tell you. What I do each morning is the first time I open this is where, what you see on the camera. Now, the reason we're producing uh, as little ash as we are producing is because of two things. As you'll notice, what I'm doing each morning is all I'm doing is cleaning the ash, just pushing it around, getting it away from the sides, okay? So very little is going into my ash pan. And then what happens is during the process of burning my fire today, take my very hot lighter out, during the process of burning today, some of this ash is again going to be consumed by the fire. It's going to be used as fuel again. And so as a result of that, for an extended period of time, I can keep making my fire on top of my bed of ash. Now, this won't work with all wood burners, but the efficient wood burners that are designed to burn up all of this residual waste material will, will work nicely. Um, you will be left with much less, less ash than you would be in a traditional wood burner. So that's the reason why. Also, if you're burning anthracite, it's a completely different fuel. Anthracite and coal have to, are required to have air underneath, which is why you'll have a shaker mechanism that will shake like this, the ash, so that you can continue to burn your anthracite. If you attempt to burn anthracite, there's my shaker, it's called a riddle mechanism. If you're burning anthracite, you need a mechanism similar to that so that you can continue to riddle your ash and keep as much air underneath your anthracite as possible. Okay, so anyway, that's the explanation. I hope that's uh, satisfied a few doubting minds. So let's have a look at the ash this morning. As you can see, especially because I shook it, um, I've got probably nearly, uh, probably three quarters full there. Okay, however, what I've got above is quite a, quite a shallow bed of ash now. So I can continue to make my fire up here and um, still got a couple of days before I'm going to have to empty that ash pan. So we'll make a fire and uh, that'll be it for today. Right, so the sunshine's back here today in Cape Town. Time to have a look, see what the story is here. Right, very much as usual. I'm not going to take too long today. I reckon tomorrow if this isn't full already tomorrow it'll be full let's have a look there it is you see that so look it's not full so I can probably leave that for another day or so there's no tricks to this like I said yesterday um, it's just the case that the ash is continuing to be burnt the ash bed is quite shallow, so it does mean that when, you have, when you've got your fire going, sometimes you do get quite a high bed at the back, but no big deal from my point of view. All right. Good morning, day seven, Saturday. So let's just have a quick look. We know the drill. Let's give this a shake. It's nice and warm in here. A quick look. Nice and clear, you can see that today. Look, basically, it's, a, it's not much different from yesterday. But that, you get the idea. So, in essence, provided you um, are happy to flatten your bed of ash each day, keep it reasonably tidy in there, um, your ash will very, very slowly um, build up in that ash pan. I mean, it's now been a week, almost. Um, I'll probably empty this today. But um, with the, you know, with modern technology and some of these uh, high-end stoves like Charm would produce, um, you don't have to empty the ash pan on a daily basis. Okay, that's the end of that. Just a couple of notes to add. Um, one is to is to advise that um, never allow your ash to get so high in the pan that it's touching the underneath of your grate mechanism because you can potentially damage your grate mechanism. Uh, by doing that um, and the other thing is I think well today we'll give this a little bit of a shake 
so you can see how, how that works. So. And that ash pan will be very full. Yeah, look at that. That is a full ash pan. There we go. So that can go out onto the garden. That's another good thing about wood ash, you can put it on your garden, whereas anthracite, I'm told the ash isn't too good for your garden, but someone will probably correct me on that. Okay, that's the end of that little video diary.